How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Decks. And today I built a Secret Keeper deck with Bard. Now you may remember a while back, I don't know, maybe like five months ago, I was on a little bit of a Bard kick. I built a lot of different Bard decks and out of all the Bard decks I built, this deck was by far my favorite Bard deck. Uh, the idea might seem a little bit weird at first, but trust me, this deck is an absolute blast. The main reason this deck is so much fun, in my opinion, is because of cards like Siphoning Strike, right? Grant allied champions everywhere, plus two, plus two. Obviously, this is just a fun card to play with Secret Keeper because all of your level two champions are gonna get extra buffs, but it's also very nice synergy with Bard because when you grant all champions everywhere, plus two, plus two, that does count towards his level up. So if you have a Bard on board, you're gonna get four out of 20 on his level up. It's mainly about all these cards that have the plus two, plus two buff that work with champions like Golden Ambassador, Siphoning Strike, and of course, Priestess of the Desert Light, even though we are not playing six different champions in this deck. Just the fact that this does draw a champion and grant it plus two, plus two is really nice to just become a value engine for Bard, make sure he levels up, and even maybe draw some chimes on the way. And for a second champion, I have decided to play Auction. The reason I'm playing Auction is because he's like Siphoning Strike. He has the ability to grant champions everywhere spell shield and plus two plus two, but he is just a good champion in general. And he does synergize very well with Bard when you play him with equipments, right? Playing something like a Swinging Glaive and equipping this over and over and over again, playing the lucky finds from this if you choose extra stats. That's gonna help level up Bard. And as good of an equipment as Swinging Glaive is with Bard, I would actually argue there is a better equipment in this deck, which is Treasure of the Sands, because this is plus four, plus four, just guaranteed. That is eight out of 20 on Bard's level up. That's a lot of value. For three mana, eight out of 20, I don't know if there's a single card in the game that levels up Bard more. I think this is it. I think this is literally the best possible card if you wanna level Bard as fast as possible. This is one of my favorite decks of all time, and I hope you enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. Here we go. Uh, another another great memer, just like me. We're gonna Galio Elder Dragon. What a silly, goofy, funny combo he's got going. Uh, I actually like this hand a lot. Am I going to need quicksand? That's the question. I mean, like, what are we seeing early game that quicksand is really gonna be helpful for? I guess it's good against Formidable. Uh, it's also good against Morgana just to prevent the lifesteal. I don't particularly care about lifesteal. I actually think we can mulligan it here. Really good start. Really good start. Let's just mulligan quicksand. I, I think I think we just get rid of that. Let's see if we can find like Auction maybe. Predict. That's pretty good. Just drop a Secret Keeper and predict right away. I like it. Uh, obviously we drop this turn one so we can get the... The countdown going. We should be able to play this equipment turn four if we want to. Ooh. I'm going to save this guy. Let's save him till after the, the Secret Keeper. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we don't. Is it is it worth taking extra damage? Perhaps not. We have another predict. We'll just save that. Auction. There we go. I think it is important we get Auction's landmark on board early. So I guess game plan is probably Auction before Secret Keeper then. This guy is... I, maybe it is better to equip here instead of play Auction just so that we start getting good trades right away. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't really do too much to me. We'll play this on like a, a future turn once I have spare mana. Yeah, I mean, let's just drop this right now and what is he going to do? Right? I think it's actually very important we drop this before Auction. And now I can just start it. He's going to have to trade with my like least valuable units, which is really good. I love this. Dude, I love this equipment so much. It's so broken. Plus four, plus four. Oh. So this is so, he's about to trade all of those stats with my one drop. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. And then I can just go Auction back into the equipment next turn. Let's go, baby. Let's go. No, oh, he's he's gonna be a seven seven. Ain't no way. He has to he has to go like um plus two. Okay, he had it. I was gonna say he has to play this card right now. Otherwise, there's no way for him to stop me. 
That's still beautiful. It's beautiful to get this card out like this. That's hilarious. Alright, I mean, we'll bank the... We'll bank the extra mana then. I could drop a Mystic Vortex. I like having extra mana to play around with, especially with this equipment. So, let's just go Secret Keeper, then start planting Chimes once we have the champions in our deck. It's going to work out better anyways. We're already ahead on mana, which is really good. Uh, zero 0-4. It's a little annoying. If I play Secret Keeper, he's just going to immediately die. I feel like this is the move. Like, we want to kill Balin as soon as possible, I think, right? We really can't let Balin... We want to do three damage to him, ideally. I can... You know what? I'm going to let Balin hit. I'm actually going to let Balin hit. I don't even care. I'm just going to be... I'm going to be a Giga Chat over here doing my own thing. I'm going to go Treasure of the Sand, Siphoning Strike next turn. He might, he might play the Galio buff. I really don't think he does. I think we just have, like, guaranteed Siphoning Strike on Balin. I'm not able to stop him from attacking, so I might as well just, like, get my own value instead. It, it looks, from what I can tell, it looks like it has a super low-value hand, which I love. Um, I do, I kind of have an expensive hand going on here, because we got Suppression, we got Mystic, which I still have to develop. I forgot I can't, wait, I can't even play Siphoning. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna open swing. I'm gonna open swing with the chunkiest zillion I've ever had. Actually, this is not even the chunkiest zillion I've ever I've had chunkier zillions than this. That's the that's that's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> this is not even my chunkiest zillion. It's, pre it's pretty chunky. Um man. So I'm, I'm gonna... This is super rough. I'm gonna have to chump block here. I guess now is a good time to go Mystic Vortex Bakai. Maybe maybe we want to drop a, a Suppression here just to prepare for next turn. Let's go Predict. Let's just go Predict into Golden Ambassador, I think. Bard, 18 out of 20. Like I said, this deck is insane for leveling Bard. That's just been from playing our equipment over and over again, which is hilarious. Uh, Chime on this guy, really good. I could pick Bard. I'm actually going to go Defenders of the Sun Disk. Reason being, I want my Allegiance guaranteed. I think we just go for Allegiance now. Well, well it is guaranteed. This will this will actually fully level Bard. Because it's going to be another plus four. So just hype. Bask in the sunlight. Okay. Okay. A little dry energy. A little free draw, a little two mana five six. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. We don't mind those. That's for sure. Um, I could I could drop another buried armory here. That seems a little greedy, so I'm just gonna pass. I got plenty of stuff to to spend mana on anyways. I don't think we need to be doing that. All right, yeah, that's insane. Uh, I really hope he doesn't open swing. Ob oh my gosh, bro, we're screwed. What is that? What is that? <sighs> Alright, here's... I'm, I'm gonna go for a siphoning strike on the bird. He's opened himself up to a siphoning strike here. I'm just gonna hit it. Suppression. The beauty of this is it lets me choose what I want to block with my secret keeper. I can get Galio's HP down to basically nothing. It's also gonna stop... Um, any future challenges, like he might go for challenging the 2-1, which means then the bird survives and he has multiple challenges. So this is just very good. <laughs> also, now we have an 8-9. So, you know, that's cool. No. Wait, you can't just pass. You can't just pass. That's Okay, that's a little illegal. That's a little illegal for him to just pass like that. Yeah, this is rough. This, this is a little rough. Um... Okay, how do I <laughs> how do I not lose here? That's the question, isn't it? How do I not lose? Do we do we just have to attack with Neela? It's so tough playing against the leveled Galio because either way you slice it, like you're re you're really in trouble. How do I not get destroyed by this rally? It might just be I do <laughs> I do get destroyed by this rally. Ah. <laughs> uh... 
I'm playing it out in my head right now, and it's like, if I pass, we go to next turn. Block, block, block. He's gonna rally. I guess at least he hits for less damage if I full block everything. I probably just have to drop Defenders of the Sun disc here, get that Daybreak effect off, because this is gonna be my best opportunity to do so. Plus one chime. Nice. Okay. I think we just need to we need to farm units. I need to have as many blockers as I can get a hold of. All my homies hate leveled Galio. All my homies do too. It's funny. We have we have the same friends, I guess. Like I could just drop Neela as a, a blocker here. That actually seems like it's probably going to be worth it. I think it has to happen. I would really like to get a slipstream, but the problem is. It's just too greedy. I have enough value as is. If he wants to do that, I'll, I'll just have to unshackle. It's totally fine. Like, I just need the stats. I really just need the stats at this point. She'll she'll be able to block Balin and survive, which is nice. Hopefully she'll get one attack off after that. Our hope here is just that we're going to be able to block everything. And by the time he swings again, he'll be hitting for less damage, right? Let's go. Wait, how many chimes do I have? Only 15. How, how have I been hitting so many? I've actually had insane luck so far. My luck has been nuts. My luck has actually been nuts. Uh, I believe we block like so. Then we have three blocks on these three units. So we still take zero damage. This, this should be like the best possible way to block here. This is actually not that bad. As long as he has no combat tricks with like a judgment. That's a little rough. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, now we're kind of in trouble. We only have two blockers. So we're going to be taking like nine damage here. Ah, oh, man. I literally need like the best possible high roll next turn. If I don't have like the most insane top deck champion, top deck karma or something, it's over. It's game over, man. Do I, do I play Defenders of the Sun disc here? Here's the thing. If you open swings... Should I be like going... I should probably go Sandstone Charger off of this, shouldn't I? That's got to be the play. That's actually really good. I can get two blockers on board. So Sandstone Charger, Allegiance Girl. And we just hope she hits. This is it. And I could even... I could... uh, I could Scrying Sands here. It's not like that does much. But this will help us guarantee we get the Predict, which I think is really important. He's, he's not going to have a lot of uh, champions that says anything against anyways. There's Bard. There's Bard, baby. There's Bard. Okay, but wait. If I pick him, then we don't get the allegiance. This is the only thing that gives allegiance. So I guess it's going to be this. This is pretty good anyway. I think this is pretty good, right? This is pretty good. This is my only choice. Otherwise, we don't have guaranteed allegiance. It's got a chime on it too. I'll, ta I'll take it. And maybe we'll get Bard off of this. Hoping it's a karma. It's a Bard though. Hey. <laughs> pretty big what in the world wait why is he so big what the heck it's a big boy right there i guess we're playing him i guess we're just dropping an 8 11 <laughs> all right yeah i mean i i think in all honesty this is still fairly good i'm just like i'm out of units now he's out of units hopefully i'm out of units and you know it could be going worse it could be going worse the real question here is how are we blocking? I feel like it's just take take the least amount of damage. Is this correct? I actually feel like we take nine just to save a blocker to get rid of a Balin. This feels like a good calculated nine damage, but he's got impact. Impact makes this a lot more complicated. Man. I definitely want this uh, Secret Keeper dead because I want to get that uh, equipment back in hand so I can start reusing it. Super tough. Super tough. Bard has been in the gym. Yeah, you could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> Bard's Bard's been, you know... He's been, he's been uh, around the weights. He's been in the vicinity of the, of the weights. Can't spoil our moment. I feel like I really feel like we can't die to impact here. I need to like I need to make sure we do not die to impact. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep our HP as high as possible. Super annoying that I have to let Balin live, but I think I have to. I think I have no choice. 
Because, like, I could get one tapped with impact and, like, a single combat or something. So, <laughs> I'm going to drop this guy. We get one more unit. This is, like, the last unit I get right now. I get a siphoning strike. Obviously, I'm going to try to hit Galio. And we're going to hope it goes through. I think we... Just to be extra safe. I think we buff Bard and then siphoning. Like, ain't no way he is stopping this, right? Surely. Surely. Please. I need this. I need this so bad. <laughs> Please, just let it through. Just let it happen, bro. Yes. Now, I mean, we could have saved that for uh, Elder Dragon. I'm much more scared of Bard. Or of uh, Galio. The anti-Bard. And now I just start attacking, bro. I'm. What are these two cards, though? Wait, why? Why did? He, why are? Why is he just passing? No, we take the pass. We take the pass. I'd have to be insane. <laughs> we have. What does he have? What are those? If you can't think of a card, you swing. <laughs> Better to be extra safe than extra sorry. That's how I'm feeling right now, man. He's got 13 mana, two cards. He's not yet played. I'm ended around, bro. I don't even care. I'm going for the Allen pass. Give me a... That's what I'm talking about. Value top deck. All right, so... Uh, if I drop Mystic Vortex, is this... No, please don't be... What is this? Does he have lethal? There's no way he has lethal. There's literally no way he has lethal. There's no possible way he has lethal right now. It can't be... It can't be... It can't be true. <laughs> he just... Wait, what? He just lost motivation. He's just done. He's out. He can't take it, man. Get him out of the ring. He can't handle it. He can't handle being in here with a with a with a meme decker. I'm not trapped in here with him. He's trapped in here with me. Let's go, baby. Dude, okay. I have to say this was money well spent. This is the real bard. This is the true bard. I did I forgot to equip this last game. This is my bad. <laughs> This is the this is the first time I've used this skin. I bought it like maybe two months ago. Right? Is gonna use that Jazz Bard money to improve POC of champions. It's probably true. Yeah, if you're if you're a POC of champions player, uh you have me to thank for the next expansion. I single-handedly funded it with my purchase of the Bard Jazz skin. Ah, oh, what is this? What is this? Unit. No, what is wait, what? What is this hand? This is this is this is Bard's jazz solo. The the rest of the band did not show up, bro. He's just, it's just him there on trumpet. That's it. Oh, there we go. You're late. What are you doing, bro? Where's your guitar? We, don't, we gotta find. Where's the drum guy? There's the drum guy. Jeez, bro. I sent out a group text. It shouldn't be that hard to just show up. I said three thirty. <laughs> no one's here but Bard, bro. He's always the only. It's the only one. Like sure he's the he's the main act, but can't make music without without the rest of the crew. It's insane. Bro, the drummer the drummer's not even here yet. He's still like he's here, but he's gotta go practice. It's insane. I mean, I don't want any of these, I'm gonna be honest. All of these are kinda trash. Do it what what am I up against? Nico Nidalee. I feel like this is just gonna be an aggro rush deck. This is like just as bad as as this could ever go. Basically, I'm gonna go for Mystic Vortex. Hopefully, I don't regret it. I probably will, though. It's just, bro, he's he's cheating. He's got units. I don't have units. It's not fair. <laughs> Isn't that the spirit of jazz? So what if the drummer wasn't there? I'm. I wouldn't know. I don't play jazz. I just play jazz bard. Right, there's a big difference. I have no clue. Please don't open swing. Please don't open swing. Thank you. No. Oh, no. Thank you. Never mind. <laughs> Not thank you. All right, Jazz Bard is going to blow this little bird away. He's going he's, he's gonna, to he's gonna, he's gonna suck that bird right down the trumpet like a straw. Oh, my. This is a nightmare. I've, I've had this nightmare before. I've woken up in a cold sweat, and I, I couldn't... I, 
I forgot, but it was this moment right here. It was literally this moment in HD, full quality. <laughs> this is so bad. Well, I, I have to block this, right? I can't I can't even block the Omen Hawk, but I have to. I, I'm gonna assume it's this or this. One of these two is uh, Nidalee, most likely. I don't think it's it's this. Can't be the dog. We're getting a lucky find off of this, so maybe we buff Bard and we don't even care that he lost this much HP. Where we're going, we don't need units. Yeah, we're going. We're going uh, to the next match, is aren't we? <laughs> is that our destination? Jazz, Jazz is dead, dude. Bard's quitting the band. He's taking his trumpet with him. I don't know, man. This is just so sad. Like, no matter what I do, I'm losing. <laughs> I guess we have we have the quicksands. Here's what we'll do. Let's kill the dog. Let's just get him out of here. I feel like hopefully we can find a challenger off of this. Quick attack. I'll just go extra HP, I guess. Help the level up. Uh, okay, we're getting a unit here. Thank goodness. The drummer's finally on board. Bard's a 4-6, so we can trade now. Let's go. There's the keyboard player. Our last keyboard player died. We had to we had to hire a new one. <laughs> it's last minute, but you know, I'm sure he'll do a good job. He looks experienced. Of course, Visionary wants to kill the dog. I mean, I don't want to. I don't have much of a choice, man. Isn't that the spirit of jazz, you know? Let's just, let's kill the dog. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's like in the spirit of jazz. Uh, does Bard attack is the, is the real question here. We got a mystery meet. I don't know what this is. This is eternal, I think. No, 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 wait, this is standard. This is standard. We switch back to standard, right? Yeah, this is standard. No, this is not eternal. So we don't have to worry about shaped stone. I think we attack. Because I have, I have the, I have the glaive. So, like, we actually want extra strikes with Bard, right? Nidalee? No, 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 no. Don't be Nidalee. Actually, I don't mind if Nidalee blocks. I actually don't mind. Let's go. Oh, he's so scared. He's so scared. That's insane. He's actually, he is, he is shaking. He's, he is visibly shivering right now in fear. That's unbelievable. Oh, uh, let's just go extra HP. Just get our bard as 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 swole as possible. Let's pop up those thighs. It's leg day. Scared of you? Yeah, he's scared of my nine HP. Thank goodness I have a double quicksand right now. Otherwise, I would just be dead. Please don't level Nidalee. Okay, we're fine then. We're fine. We're fine. No Nidalee level up. This has got to be. This has got to be a Nico. I meant no N Nico level up. Same champion, you know. The same same champion really. Do I use quicksand here? I feel like we save quicksand. This this could be the elephant. There's a lot of reasons to save quicksand. I don't think we care that the newt fish hits face. I just want to block like the highest damage hitters. Uh, and I guess we're dropping this. I mean, it's it's a 6-6. Six, six. That's pretty good. This should actually be a pretty easy level up on Bard. Maybe I should have anticipated that Nidalee waited for her to flip and then blocked with um, Secret Keeper, but I, I had to block the 3-1, I think. All in all, I think this is pretty good. We save, we definitely save the Quicksand. We want to save the Quicksand for Nidalee's next attack when she has Overwhelm. Uh, this is really good. I guess I should... Do we go Priestess into buff Priestess? Or do we buff the Bard? That's the big dilemma here. I feel like we buff Bard one more time. Let's see if we can get Challenger. If we, if we can get Challenger, you can start to get some free strikes. Uh, plus two would get us to 15. Then we're going to get plus four. He'd be 19 out of 20 if we went plus two. We already level up off the next two turns with Priestess. Let's just go Spell Shield, I guess. Let's go Spell Shield. Let's, let's protect him. We're getting into the part of the game where I think he needs some protection. I'm going to pass. Calculated pass. It has to be done. Aggro deck. Play cards. Right now. Do it. Let's see him. What do you got? There it is. Okay. Wait. No. What? No. Wait. You just get rid of it. I, bro, I, I, oh my gosh. I put so much hard work into that little bubble. 
That is the most work I've ever put into making a bubble in my entire life. Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about, baby. What in the world? This is beautiful. Wait a minute. This is an engine. I could just start drawing infinite champions. This is amazing. Ari. 5-5 five, five as well. That's insane. Uh, okay. I think we have to play Ari, right? Let's start getting uh, elusive damage in as soon as possible. Let's go Secret Keeper and Ari. And do I recall the 6-drop? Probably not. I think we just focus on recalling the 3-cost, three, 3 4-cost four cost units. This is insane. Wait. Do I just full swing? No, because he could still win. If I if I recall my entire board, that's too dangerous. This is insane. Bro, what a high roll. Secret Keeper first, then Ari. I probably should have done Secret Keeper first. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. This is fine. Let's go, let's go with the recall on this. I can play double Secret Keeper this turn. That's so funny, bro. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh man. We're I'm about to I'm about to turn this deck into just the most insane value engine of all time. We're getting another level two champion guaranteed. First thing next turn. Uh we have double quicksand. We maybe could play this as well, depending on like what his attack looks like next turn. I think it's gonna have to just be double quicksand, and um this is gonna die. We insta-level Bard, at least, so there is that. Oh, no. Okay. That's fine. We can we can prevent her from doing anything next turn, so we're just gonna have to chump block her. I guess, I guess it all just comes down to what our top deck is. I need a really good top deck here. Scrying Sands would be nice. Wait, why is he, why is he leveling? Bro, I didn't even draw yet. What in the world? <laughs> okay, wait, what? I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm actually visionary. He thinks he thinks it's over. It's not even close, bro. It's not even close. He's waiting for the surrender. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Maybe maybe he just wanted a picture of Bard in his in his moment of glory during the jazz solo. Bro, put down your phone. Enjoy the moment. What in the world? Okay, that's fine. Double quicksand. Minus, minus. This could still be Elephant. If he flips this, I'm in trouble. I'll have to save mana for an extra quicksand, I think. 7-7 seven, seven, Ari is nuts. That's actually nuts. Can I afford to play a unit here is the question. I think we I think we play this. I'm actually I think we play Golden Ambassador. I believe I believe we need another unit. I'm gonna go for it. I missed. I missed, bro. It's a bard. Next top deck's a bard, of course. I really hope I don't regret. Please don't be an elephant. There's no way it's an elephant, bro. There's no way it's an elephant. It can't be an elephant. All right, it can't be. I'm actually going. I'm. I'm gonna assume it's an elephant. I'm gonna block it like it's an elephant. No, no, no. I'll block it with this. This is a better block. I'm gonna go for this. I have a scrying sands ready. There's no way we lose. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, and now we just start recalling everything. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful, dude. Let me see. <sighs> no! They quit so soon. They always quit right before it gets good, bro. What the world? He's just done. What is this? Wait, is he cooking? What is this? Nora Demacia. One champion. Okay, this is what I... This, these are the people I want to play against. What is happening here? What is this deck? I have no clue. I love this starter hand, especially against a Nora deck. Hope, hopefully this is not aggro. It might just be aggro. This actually might just be the most boring deck we've ever played against. It's just Nora aggro. I don't know. 
I'm going to pass. If he is a slow deck, I want to be able to play these predicts after Secret Keeper. The whole point of these predicts is we save them until after Secret Keeper. I'm going to play slow. I'm going to play slow this game. I, I hope I don't regret it. I mean, what? Like, what meme combo could this be? Let's let's just assume the best. Let's assume he has discovered the most insane two-card combo in Bandle City Demacia. What is it? What is the combo? Is, it might just be Nora Champion Strength. Maybe that's the idea. I don't know. Pranks. He's just going to make all of my cards cost a million, isn't he? That is that what this is? This is just all of the plus cost cards and pranks. Oh, no. He is. He's actually doing it. It's just... All right, I take it back. This is not the type of deck I want to play against. I I thought so highly of this man when we first entered this this game. How wrong I was. <laughs> Strap in, boys. This is going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. I'm just going to go secret keeper and predict, I guess. Forget forget uh forget spells. We don't even play this here. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We, we, we're just never gonna play that. I'll, I'll accept it. That's that's perfectly fine by me. Okay, I I want to predict here. I either want to get. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding. This is. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. This is skip. It's the skip deck. I'm gonna play a I'm gonna play a secret keeper champion. He is going to capture it with skip and he is going to silence. And it's going to delete my champion from existence. That's actually what's about to happen. This is not even Well, well, well. Well, well, well. What have we here? Hello. Hello, Seraphine. What in the world? Too bad oh. Dang it. <laughs> Wait, you're right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna play this guy this turn to start getting units on board because I have to I have to start putting pressure on this man, otherwise it's all over. I'll play this and we'll just we'll clear the way for Seraphine to Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crown. We'll clear the way for Seraphine to show up eventually, alright? She's gonna show up at one point or another. I can't, dude. I can't believe this right now. The, the the first champion I hit is Seraphine, of course. Against the the deck, the whole point is I don't get to play spells. That's the whole point of this deck. There's no way. This is actually scripted. It's insane. Like, what else? What is she going to duplicate? What is she ever going to... He's high rolling. This is insane. At least he pulls something in right now instead of killing Seraphine. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. I could play this now. And then it dies in one hit. I'm not doing that. Seraphine, give me something good, please. Wait, that's insane. No! 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 I can't duplicate it anymore. He sniped it. There's no... I mean, I guess the odds of that were pretty good. This was actually about to be so insane because it ups the HP of Priestess and it gives it regen. So it just would insta like turn this into a, a card that never dies. So now what I have to do is I have to wait for this to get a chime on it. I guess that means let's just... Let's clear our hand. Let's empty our hand. So if I top deck a chime, it immediately goes on this. I need this to have at least plus one HP, otherwise regen does nothing because it still just dies to the first deal four, right? Please hit, please hit the priestess, please. Okay, we're good. We're good, boys. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. He just plays champion strength and he wins this turn. That's the sad thing here. I'm gonna pass. Do your worst. I, I need to have this if he plays something weird like a rally. I, I think he's cooking with this deck. I, I am expecting the absolute worst from him. 
I think he's going to play a rally at the very least, if not champion strength, in the deck. No champion strength. Is it nine mana? Okay, it might be nine. It might be nine instead of eight. That actually does sound correct. It's probably true. Let's play this. I think we go for a huge value uh, seven drop next turn. We want to play this next turn. Bro, I'm 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 countering myself with my own deck somehow. I don't understand what's happening. No. Okay, he's trading his Puffcat Peddler with me. Thank goodness. Puffcat Peddler is here to trade. I'm not even I'm not even losing things. Like I can't even play this this turn. Never mind. I should have just played Priestess apparently. We found a dually. I guess that's cool. Missed allegiance. So that's that's nice. The classic. He doesn't want to trade anything. He just wants to slowly kill me one one hit at a time. It's so sad. Okay, I'm going to drop this before he can prank it. And hopefully he doesn't hit this. If he hits this, I can't even play it this turn. That's a waste. He th oh, he sees what's happening here. He thinks he gets to he gets to disable my regen preemptively. It doesn't work that way. That's beautiful. Now, we don't even need to play this yet. We could wait to play this until next turn. We probably play this turn anyways just to be efficient. Because otherwise I'm burning mana, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Interesting. Tempting. Why would you go tempting prospect? I guess because you could get a portal off of this, maybe? There's no way! What? <laughs> oh... All right, we we need a higher roll. I need to find Karma now or something. I need I need something to like combo with Seraphine because Seraphine's just doing a whole lot of nothing at the moment. We have a lot of champions in her deck. Let's start drawing some, huh? I should have played her one turn earlier, but it is what it is. No, okay, we're we're fine. We're fine. This Karma Dooley, I don't even care. Thank goodness I can play this right now. That was about to be a nightmare, dude. All right, here we go. I can't believe we high rolled regen. That's insane. That's insane to me. No one is beyond my reach. No one. Literally giving my Seraphine a free, uh, free trigger. Let's go. Free value. All right, who's our first champion? It's just bard. It's not even leveled yet. <laughs> so cringe. Bro, he soft locked me. He actually soft locked me. It's insane. It worked. I thought it had to have the whatever keywords when you play it. It doesn't. I can grant it after. That's insane. He literally forced me to play it because otherwise it was going to get discarded. So I had to play it. And then he, it just still. Oh, that's insane. He has everything. He's just going to kill me off of, like, elusive damage. It's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> yeah, I guess we, we could... We can actually get this... It's, it's true. We can get this back from uh, the Stasis Statue. I guess we're just looking to play Stasis Statues now, each turn. The question is, like, do I even attack? I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point of attacking? I don't know. I just gotta hope we can, like, kill off some secret keepers here and get some value. We'll let this die. We'll let this die. And then we'll resummon everything. I mean, I, I like... I have a big bard, right? I like big bards, and I cannot lie. No other bard can deny. When a little chime pops up in my face and wiggles itself all over the place... I get a feeling I can't describe when the chime decides to uh, chime. It's a visionary original, by the way. I just made, I made that song up on my own. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know. I mean, I thought it was kind of nice. 
The question here is, do I play the more expensive one or do I play the cheaper one? I think the answer is obviously we play the more expensive. No. I think it's I play the more expensive because I don't want to develop anything on board. I need four spaces for Secret Keeper, Secret Keeper, Allegiance card, and Priestess. So I could go cheap Siphoning Strike. The problem is I don't have anything big to hit with. I feel like we want to save Siphoning Strike for next turn when I have something genuinely big. But he could he could prank Siphoning Strike, so maybe I just hit it now. Like, he's probably playing Form Up, no? I'm gonna play the big one. I'm gonna choose the big one. Because I'm not play- I don't think- I, I don't think I want to play Siphoning Strike. Just don't hit it, please. Oh, he hit it! <laughs> no! He hit it. I I think he probably has buffs. Like, I'm going to assume Nora wouldn't have died if I played it, so it just would have been a waste anyways. Okay, here we go. We should theoretically be drawing two... T I'm just trying to have fun, man. Okay, we should theoretically be drawing one champion. I think he si Does he silence before I... Nope, he's going to silence the 6-6 six six before it does its thing. Nope. Oh. Yep. Silence. That's insane. Did I miss Allegiance? I missed it. Uh, all right, I'm actually I'm cutting Maduli from the stack. We're playing at least one more game after this because I need to cut Maduli. I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of Maduli and his big fat chime showing up right before I'm about to have the best moment of my life. It just it never fails. I don't know how he always does it, but he just does. He does. If you're going to rhyme chime with chime, you kind of deserve this. All right, buddy. I am doing my best. What rhymes with chime? Uh, time. It's chime time, baby. It's chime time. What is this? Trash. Glad you found that. Uh, I just hope I can siphoning strike the Mega T here. That's the plan. We're going to siphoning strike with Bard. Hopefully there's no way to stop it. I don't think that's an issue, right? That shouldn't that shouldn't create a problem for us. That should be fine. Slime, true. Chime slime. Chime slime. Classic. Lime. It went through. Wait, we're so lucky. It went through. Thank goodness. Okay, we have a chance. We have a chance. We have a chance. I shouldn't have done that though. I should have killed Nora, because I just died to Nora next turn. It's over. I literally die to Nora next turn. I haven't drawn a single... I'm cutting Maduli and we're adding more quicksand to the deck, dude. That's that's what we're doing, alright? I'm cutting Maduli we're adding quicksand. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. I'm sick of missing allegiance and dying to elusives every game. How many portal paloozas does this man have? Okay, it's fine. Quicksand, please. Quicksand top deck. Just this once. Just hit me with a quicksand top deck. One time. Quicksand top deck. One time. Nice, bro. Nice, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's just... Let's let's plant 500 champions in my deck, and the one champion I draw is Seraphine, who does nothing. And the one thing she actually does, giving the thing regen, just is, is insta-countered. All right. GG's. <laughs> GG's. I don't mind this. I don't mind this. I'll take it. I will take it. Elder Dragon Volibear. That's a deck I can win against. They like to pass. Okay? I like that about them. Akshan, Mystic Vortex. Let's find Buried Armory. I want Buried Armory, please. And and there he is. The boy himself. The main man. Bro, I got two. I, I feel like, I feel like even more so, now that I've announced my channel is dying, I just, my, my visionary powers have increased tenfold. I just say, next card, please be X, and I get two times what I asked for. It's insane. Uh, this might be a trap. I don't care. I'm gonna take it. I'm blocking with Akshan. Give me that free strike. He's getting giant next turn anyways. It's actually, it couldn't be a trap. There's literally nothing he could do. 
Akshan is huge. <laughs> Dude, wait. This curve is, like, broken. This curve is turbo broken. I forgot just how good this curve is with Akshan. Literally, any Akshan deck just needs to play that, that curve. Buried Armory is, like, the best card in the game. I'm not even joking. Better than Deny. Actually better than Deny. Better than Champion Strength. Better than Volibear. Better than Elder Dragon. It's just a tiny little one drop. But it is... It is something, man. It is something. This man is addicted to the high roll. No, I'm not addicted to the high roll. The high roll is addicted to me. It just can't stop happening. It's not my fault. I, I say go away, high roll. Leave me. And here it is. It's still here. That's a good point. Be is, is buried armory better than thrift? That's the question. You play it with the thrift. Akshan Mr. Thrift. <laughs> That's the next deck. We we give thrift the power of the armory. Just imagine. Imagine how much exploring he could do. I guess I'll drop this. Might as well. If we have a landmark to uh, level up, might as well just get this going. I say uh, spare no expense. Plus one chime. That's hype. I'll open swing. This is huge. Like, this is actually a very good start to the game. Akshan levels next turn. Volibear is going to probably come out next turn as well. He needs one more sigil, which I expect him to make. There it is. Hopefully no uh, impact on this. I really, I really don't want to see impact here. Tough is fine. Tough is fine, I think. Can we defeat tough? I guess we can't really defeat tough. Tough is tough. Tough is <laughs> tough is rough. <laughs> we have double uh double priestess. It's a little weird. I guess the uh the equipment's really good with priestess, right? Because it keeps her alive for a lot longer. She gets like a full extra hit. Drawing chimes, which is nice. Oh wow, that's huge. Okay, both of them have a chime. Yeah, so let's let's predict. Let's see if we can find one of our Secret Keeper champions. That'd be really nice, obviously. I could trade with this. What do you guys think? Should we go for a trade? It's tough, because like if he plays Volibear, this is guaranteed dead, right? So if this is the only thing on board, it's kind of meh. Maybe we just buff this immediately so that doesn't happen. Juggle two treasures to heal Keeper. That's actually pretty nice. That's true. That's a good point. Nah, you know what? Let's go for it. Because we can also get Auction back from this. That's a good point. Uh, this might force him to spend his mana on something other than Volibear this turn. Like a double freeze. I will take it. I'm happy that he's delaying his Volibear then. That's huge. We're delaying his, his progress. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is, is predict. I'm not playing the Daybreak guy. I'm most likely just playing the Priestess. But we'll see what we have here. Um, Allegiance card is probably better than main deck Bard, I think. I think Allegiance card is easily the best pick. Maybe not. I'm drawing so many champions, do I really need Allegiance card? Let's go, let's go predict. Let's go main, let's, let's get like a tiny little unit I can play in addition to the big guys. Nice, yeah. And then we'll just drop the, the plus four HP on this and start juggling. Here we go, dude. This is going to be fun. I can already tell. This is going to be a good time. This is where it all begins, baby. <laughs> I forgot Bard is leveled. Maybe we do just drop a Bard here if we draw him. We're, if we if we draw a Bard from this, he's going to be big. He's pretty big. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Second Secret Keeper. What what is our what is our like play by play this turn? It's probably just swap equipment and play secret keeper and predict. I think that's the the three plays. I'm gonna drop secret keeper first. Reason being, this might tank a volibear lightning if he plays volibear. I'd rather volibear lightning hit this and this survives than just two damage to face. Is Buried Armory better than Swinging Glaive? I'm curious. I actually, I think so. It, it probably, you'd have to, I think you have to change the type of auction deck you're building. If you're going for Buried Armory instead of Swinging Glaive. 
Like it's gonna be different, right? But I think it is. Actually, I do think it is. I think the curve is just better. You're getting more stats. And you're getting them on turn three. Like turn three swinging glaive. Your auction is so much weaker. It's insane. You'd rather just have a 6-6 six, six auction turn three than like barely build up value over the course of the game. I actually do think this is better. I would argue it is. So this is just never dying. <laughs> uh, he has ramped 210. Not a huge fan of that. Here's the thing. If I if I predict it it's probably not drawing the top card, right? Like it probably it's probably fine if I predict a champion cuz this says draw a champion. So even if I predicted a champion, it's not going to waste my predict and draw the top card that is the champion. Like it's probably going to draw one of the other mini champions in my deck. I don't know if that makes sense. I kind of worded that in a confusing way, but I think I think predicts was always worth it here, right? If we found a champion, like odds are we're drawing that champion plus another one instead of just that one. All right, I'm I'm yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, I'll take it. That ain't bad. Attack deal four. Yasuo next, please. I need to. Ah, oh, what is that? Challenger's rough. Uh, believe it or not, though, we, we actually were fine here because I just swap equipments again. Like, I actually don't even care about this doing eight damage. He's going to have to do more than that. <laughs> Wait, this is this is so OP, bro. I wasn't even thinking about this whole swap uh, equipment strategy. Like, I actually did think about swapping equipment just to level the landmark, but I never thought about just, like, keeping this on board forever. That's so funny. It's literally just you play this once, it full counters the deal four. Like, it's just three mana, full heal. Okay, that's fine. We have to watch out for uh, these giant overwhelms coming out. Do we, do we get Bard on board now to start building up our chimes? I feel like the answer is yes. Am I wrong? I feel like we just hit this now. Let's do it. We're going to be drawing extra cards every turn. Might as well just start getting value off of it. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I just got to hope he doesn't have Buried in Ice. I'm, I'm really worried about a Buried in Ice here. Because if he freezes my whole board, I can't really redevelop. And I'd be losing so much value. Like, that's the worst card he could possibly have for me. Uh, also, I probably should have predicted. It is what it is. Maybe it's better that I save this. That's a huge... That's a huge top. Oh, my... These are huge top decks. Okay. Jin's getting big. I like that. 7-7. Seven, seven. We could probably drop him here. We can almost pop... I think we, we go for popping the landmark. Let's pop the landmark and let's try to get spell shield on all my champions. So if he does have like a Barry to Nice or something, they're at least... Uh, they're saved from the Barry to Nice. If I just pop this down, then we're good to go. I could also Siphoning Strike. I don't know if that's worth it. He had it, bro. He had it. <laughs> no. Is that game? That actually might be game. He popped it at the perfect time. Okay, wait. How do I not lose? Yeah, the Buried is terrible. It does so. It does so much for him. It kills the equipment. I probably have to override this. He's hitting with two giant Overwhelms next turn. I have no quicksand. Where's my quicksand? We need. To, I think we need to predict for quicksand. That's like priority number one here. I think we have to pop this. Do we pop that landmark this turn? I think we have to. That's so sad. What can we do that makes sense? Do I like play this siphoning strike the three one? Healing is going to be big. I don't know if that's big enough, though. Do we pick it? I, I think we actually, like, we genuinely need to find Quicksand to stop the Overwhelms. And I need to get three units on board. Would have been nice if I had more of these guys. I'm just going to have to play this guy as a, as a chump. I think I have to skip. I, I literally have to top deck Quicksand or it's over. It's game over. 
Do we drop a Jin just to like force him to block with the three one? We probably drop Jin. It's probably Jin and defenders. I could maybe find Diana. Because we know she's in the deck. If I find Diana off of this and then play it as Nightfall, that could actually be pretty good. I'm just going to go Jin though. I think it's I think it's impossible to win this game, I'm going to be honest. I think it's over. I'll just flex my Jin. I, don't, I honestly don't even think he's going to block. If he does block us with a 3-1, I'll take it. That's minus one unit. That might be enough to save us. At least I have a double Scrying Sands next turn. It's going to be pretty big. We'll just get this guy on board. I'll replace the Secret Keeper, I guess. Obviously, Bard and Priestess are more valuable. I think. I kind of like the, the Secret Keeper getting respawned, though. Do I Do I actually get rid of Bard? I have a bard in hand. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the bard. I actually will. I want the secret keeper uh, reproc. I want to. I want to get the summon effect again. All right. Fingers crossed. This is a quicksand, baby. I need to see a quicksand here, otherwise it's GG's. Please be quicksand. Um, it's not. That's unlucky. Yeah, I think that's GG's. That's just that's so much damage, man. <laughs> he had buried nice. Like I said, if if he has buried nice, it's just it's good game. I mean, technically, we can survive here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. We'll hit this. See if we can find a cool champion. Panth I mean, it doesn't matter because I have to. I have to do another one, right? If he plays Volibear, two damage could be the difference between winning and losing. I have to play one more. Too bad you didn't have time. That's true. Someone suggested time in a bottle. I mean, I don't know that, like, advancing one Ice Tomb would have saved me, but it's true. Time in a bottle would have been nice. Time in a bottle would have been nice. Here's my quicksand. I guess we'll grab it now. What's better, grabbing quicksand now or grabbing healing? I think grabbing healing is actually better. But it actually doesn't even matter what I pick because I'm about to play this, I think. Oh, no, I'll play this and draw two this turn. Well, let's do the one that reduces cost of everything and draws two. Is that the best one? I think that's the best one. Because I can heal this turn. It's got to be. Yeah, Pantheon has five keywords from, from using... Wait, this is amazing. There's no... Wait! Do we have a chance? We might have a chance. That's insane. That's actually insane. I'm, I'm going to hit this now. I'm just going to hit it now. Hopefully I don't regret it. <laughs> He, he might play Volibear. This still survives Volibear, and then I'll just play Treasure. Why did I cut? Uh, bro, I was running Castigate in this deck. Why did I cut Castigate? <laughs> Feels real bad to have cut Castigate at this point in time, at this current moment. Ah, uh, Winnable? 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 Yeah, this game is winnable. This game is very winnable. Okay, I mean, let's just drop Pantheon. Lifesteal, please? No? Aw, oh, that's like the worst possible combination in the history of the universe. <laughs> okay. So here's, here's what we can do. I can maybe kill the 8-8, eight eight, just get one unit off of his board at least. We'll, we'll buff Pantheon. I'll drop this to make use of the discount. We pop a Secret Keeper into Priestess. Uh, it's perfect order. Hopefully we draw something like a Karma, maybe. I don't know. I don't know who would save us at this point. It does not even, oh, it doesn't even activate. Because it, it missed the round start. That's cool. Okay, nice. Uh, I do have Challenger. Wish I had Quick Attack, because I can't really challenge anything. I guess I could kill off one of his units. I still, like, I need a quicksand. Otherwise, again, I'm just dead. So maybe I should have predicted quicksand. I don't know. <laughs> what is opponent's board? I don't know, man. Funniest part is he's about to just play another Buried Nice, and then it's like, oh, nice, okay. 
So now I have double no chance. Oh, that's close enough. Yeah, that's that'll do it. Okay. I mean, hey, maybe I just draw, like, all 23 chimes on the next card, and then my board is as big as his, you know? Maybe. It's not impossible. I, I literally, I, I need quicksand. If I draw quicksand, we actually survive. We have no problem here. We survive. But of course I don't. Psych? Wait, because the first draw... You thought? You thought it was all over. You thought that there was zero chance we were coming out of this game alive. And that's where you were wrong. I choose to believe you chose correctly. The beautiful thing here is anything that dies this turn, we respawn as well. It's not over yet, baby. It's not over yet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, where's my little ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. All right. So what, what is what is all dying? A, a, we got a priestess. We got defenders. We have council. We have secret keeper. Is, is it worth using the servitude here is the question. You have better gaming chair? That's what I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping at the end of this we find out I actually am the one who has the better gaming chair. I like I actually don't think it's worth the servitude, is it? Am I crazy? If one of these guys, Allegiance guys, died, I actually would have played it. But uh What what like I don't even Is this round end or round start? It's another round start. So this is the same problem that we had with the ice thing. When this pops out of ice, it doesn't draw one. So I'm not even getting a champ. It's not worth it. I need immediate value. I need to win next turn. I think it's going to be this into this, or th you know, it's going to be this into this. Odds are we hit allegiance like guaranteed. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a big, that's a big boy right there. 8-11. Oh, but wait, but these are just bigger. It doesn't even matter how much I high roll. I need a lot of chimes, man. I'm gonna pass. I need to hit like the most chimes anyone has ever hit. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna let three more chimes enter my deck. Here we go, 29. Drew one. On Swain. Okay. I'm gonna drop Akshan. I have a challenger. I can actually kill off his 14-13. He's got he show, dude. Freaking he show. He's just gonna bury the ice again. <laughs> Here it comes. I can already feel the bury the ice on his way. I was hoping those would hit. Please hit Swain. Please hit Swain. Plus two. That's not enough. <laughs> dude, I'm so juiced up. It's just like he had to he had to go and one up me. Because of course he did. It's actually it's insane how juiced up I am right now. I mean, okay, here's here's what this does. There's actually a very important thing that Swain does here, is he forces the 16-15 to block. I think I think we have to find like an insane high roll. I'm I don't think Swain is enough. What like what is Swain forcing this to block even do for me? It doesn't do enough. We have to high roll. High roll. I don't know who it would be, but someone, please. He's too expensive. <laughs> I hit, I hit, I hit such good champions, but it just wasn't enough, man. <laughs> All right, just hit me with the Baron and Ice Man, so I can surrender. This truly is a battle of titans. It is. It is. It's actually amazing. It's amazing. I just, I expected my, I expected like I was probably gonna be the slightly bigger champion, you know, the slightly bigger titan. Very nice. Oh no. Okay. Minus nine on the three cost. I'll take that. Yeah. I mean, obviously it has to be this. It's so sad. It's so sad. I need... I have three quicksands in the deck. We've only drawn one. If I top deck another quicksand... 
Is there a chance? There absolutely is. If I if I top deck, I have to top deck another quicksand, otherwise it's over. Why is he passing? Put equipment on the lowest HP unit, but is he waiting for me to play equipment so that he can bury the nice? Why is he passing? He's not playing another unit to guarantee lethal. I don't believe... Uh, no, 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 no. We end round. We end round. That's sus. That's sus. He should be playing something. I don't trust it. He top decked Barry Nice and he just wanted to... He, he was greedy. He wanted the extra value. I'm not playing it. I'm not playing it. Alright, I mean, that's GG's. No, dude, if I had... Oh my gosh, if I had Castigate. If I still had Castigate in the deck, it, it was so over. It would have been so over. Man. He just has three cards. Yeah, it's not a whole lot. We actually might have a chance here, guys. He only has he he only has three cards. All right, Juju's. Hey, at, at the very least, it was a good game. It was an entertaining one, huh? It it was truly a battle of titans. Giga Chad doesn't even pull in a single unit. He knows he doesn't need to. Juju's. He forgot to pull. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't need to. It was. I just can't, I can't stop getting one-upped by my opponent. It's insane. Okay, I actually think uh, this is a very necessary card here. Very necessary. Same with, I'm actually going to make a, a call that Swinging Glaive is better in this matchup because we want to find Challenger off of it to pull in his elusives. And that's why I'm throwing it away, apparently. Uh, anyways, nice to see we have some chump blockers here. That's gonna that's gonna come in handy over the course of the the next few turns. I can already tell. I'll just drop one now. These guys are gonna be anything but chumps, though, uh, when we throw this inferior equipment that is so much worse than a swinging glaive on them. <laughs> At least I have quicksand, huh? That's nice. You only get one miracle quicksand per game. Yeah, it's it's kind of what it seems like. Seems like I can't just hit the most insane top deck of all time twice in a row for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like I deserve at least three quicksands every game, but it's just me. I mean, to be fair, like, I am predicting a lot. It's insane how much predict there is in this deck, and I'm still missing quicksand so often. Uh, might want a scrying sands here, yeah? What do, what, do we, what do we say about a scrying sands? No, you know what? I'll skip. It, it's better to use scrying sands if we can kill like a Zed or Gwen, I think. I will skip. I'll skip, 100%. Let's, um, let's wait and see if we top deck like a secret keeper before predicting. That would be ideal. Nice. Chime on that guy is huge. I'll drop him now, because I think we need as many units as we can get our hands on. So let's just get him, let's get them all early. Even if we're not drawing chimes off of these guys, because we play them so early in the game. Um, at the very least, it is nice to thin our deck, right? Like now we, we've drawn three extra cards. Or two extra cards, whatever it is, off of them. That just gives me like a better, better chance of hitting the cards I want to hit. All right, man. <laughs> it's time. It's time to. It's time to drop this quicksand. Let's just hope he doesn't like prank me three times and increase its cost to nine hundred, like all my opponents like to do today. Thank, thank goodness this is his board because I actually think he's just open attacking, expecting to deal like lethal immediately. That's rough. That's really rough. Um. I can't afford to drop this. I can only drop quicksands. I like this because it survives a block. Let's go. Let's go, Bakai. 
Let's leave this uh, scrying sands open, which I like. Secret keeper, there he is. Gotta find him early. Let's get him down now, as soon as we can. <laughs> what is that? Thank goodness I have quicksand. What in the world? What am I looking at? This is insane. This would have been 10 damage if I didn't have it right now. Miracle quicksand for real. Okay. I'm, I have 10 HP. At least I get a swing for 9 next turn. So he actually, he's 1 HP lower than me now. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Somehow I'm about to take him. I, I'm about to be winning. I'm literally about to be winning the game. I guess we just, we want to level Akshan now as quick as possible. I don't know why he's hitting GG's. He's going to drag and ambush me, isn't he? Bro's just going to drag and ambush me into non-existence. So I, I got to get uh, units with big HP down as soon as I can. Secret Keeper, this one. That's so bad, bro. I do not like that. All right. I mean, it is what it is. If we could pop Akshan, we might be able to barely survive here just because this will start healing me. That's what I'm hoping. But uh, it looks like he's got a lot of... He's got a lot of damage coming in. You never forgot us. We will not forget you. We will not forget you. I guess as long as we have these scrying sands, we should we should be okay this turn. Even if he has a dragon ambush, I think we'll survive. Just because we got two units that are double blocking. That's tough. That's so tough. <laughs> Do I get the heal next turn anyways? Because Akshan levels up turn start. I should still get the heal, right? I think I still get the heal. Okay, let's drop a unit. Ah, uh, it's game over. That's insane. That's actually just disgusting. Block. Block. Hit, hit. Right? I think this is correct. Maybe not. Yeah, I think this is correct. I can actually... Here's what I can do. I can scry a shark. I think we actually... It's smart to scry a shark. If you double scry one shark, it doesn't die and respawn in the second attack. I don't think it ever dies and respawns in the second attack. That's not the way it works. It's only if you resummon it in a way other than its own ability, right? Like if you used a mist call, for instance, then it would resummon it. If it just comes back because of its own card text, it, it doesn't actually... Yeah, I'm gonna go for this. Here's here's the move. We go for this, and then I can block with a 2-2, two, two and it doesn't die. Let's go! Leona coming in. Coming in clutch. A bright light in these dark times. Yeah, I think that was the best use of Scrying Sands, for sure. And then hopefully we can save this for another attack. I could have prevented him healing. I don't think that was really happening. Okay, block, 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 block. Right? Then we get our healing. I'll drop this this turn to make use of the rest of our mana. And then we get Leona. Next turn start. We have a chance, baby. We have a chance! We have a chance! Gonna go up to 9 HP, hopefully. Oh, he's got a chump blocker. That's annoying. Why not scry the dragonling to stop healing? You cannot run from uh, it it didn't work. It didn't work with the play of trying to get that unit to survive. Wouldn't wouldn't have made the two two survive. Like if anything, it would have it would have played on the two one, and it was dealing zero. So like there was no point in blocking it anyways. That makes sense. Question is, do I want to play Leona this turn? I feel like she's always coming down on defense. No.
Maybe not. I'm threatening a lot of damage here if I play it this way. I don't think he would. Would he let me play it on defense? I think he would. Well, the reason I want to... Yeah, we're not going to play her this turn. Unless he plays an elusive. Let's maybe develop and see if he plays... Whoa. Okay, that's a high roll. That's a high roll if I've ever seen one. Could open pass? No, this is not an open pass because he always passes back and we don't want that, I don't think. No, you know what? Actually, it, it is an open pass. We do want that because then he gives... If he passes, he gives me a Leona next turn. But no, 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 no. Now that we have Viego, we just play Viego. I'll start with the uh, Predicts because we're going to have leftover, leftover mana anyways. Siphoning is huge. Oh, uh, but if you, what if he plays Dragon Ambush? I just insta lose, don't I? There's no way he has a second Dragon Ambush, right? Dragon Ambush is like quicksand, right? You only get one per game. Wasted? Wasted. Actually wasted unless he's playing a Dragon Ambush. Actually wasted. Pass back, please, bro. Why are you playing that? No. Why are you playing that? Don't do it. Don't give him a federal. <laughs> Wait, he's... he's actually insane. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. I'm chilling. We steal his Zed. Wait, his Zed's just dead. He threw. Bro, classic aggro player. Not even... <laughs> He genuinely, he genuinely just didn't even care. He was just like throwing his cards out there, bro. He was just waiting for his moment. I took so long to think. It was the cl She's so big. What in the world? She's so big. Okay, I'm gonna kill this. I'm actually gonna kill this. I'm gonna siphoning strike here. If he has no more uh, ephemerals, this wins us the game. Because now he has no shark attack. Absolutely worth Absolutely worth. Also, what is this fist bump doing here? <laughs> Alright, we got it. Let's game, baby. Let's game. Let's go. GG's. We had a 10-12 Leona. Didn't even need to play her. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Destroyed.